Hi, welcome to Carrie's Corner, and today I would like to take a lesson out of 1 Samuel chapter 1 and between chapter 2. Um, it's about uh, the Bible character Hannah. Uh, she's always been a deep inspiration to me. I actually just read this not too long ago. Um, I want to talk about praising the Lord after he blesses you. So many times we can pray and pray and pray for something, and we don't thank God afterwards. So it's a really big lesson in gratitude. Now, a little bit of background about Hannah. She was not able to have children. She was married to a priest Elkanah. Um, he had another wife. He was able to have children with her, and Hannah was barren. She was not able to have children after she prayed and prayed and prayed. She poured out her heart to God for a child, and still no child. So she... um finally was able to get pregnant, and she de decided to dedicate her son to the Lord. So I think that's pretty amazing. Um, after that, you know, like so many times we say, yeah, God, I'm going to dedicate this son to you. I'm going to dedicate this child or whatever the blessing that God has given you. But so many times we don't do that. But Hannah remembers God's goodness to her. So I want to just like kind of touch on that today. Um, Every year they went up to offer a sacrifice, and Hannah went up after the child was weaned, after he was old enough, and she offered um, her child Samuel to the Lord for a whole lifetime um, of service to him. And to me, it's like, I mean, I really admire that about Hannah. Um, she just gave up her son to do that for the Lord. And so many times, even as a parent, like it's hard for me to just give my child to Jesus over simple stuff, like over like trusting him, like with my child, um, how they're going to be raised, how everything. And like Hannah's a really good example of that. She just gave her son um, to, for a whole lifetime of service to the Lord when she went up to the make that sacrifice yearly. And she did, had a really cool prayer at the end um, in chapter 2. My heart exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in the Lord. My mouth derides my enemies, because I rejoice in your salvation. There is none holy like the Lord, for there is none besides you. There is no rock like our God. Talk no more very proudly. Let not arrogance come from your mouth, for the Lord is a God of knowledge, and by him his actions are weighed. The bowels of the mighty are broken, but the feeble bind on strength. Those who are full have hired themselves out for bread, but those who are hungry have ceased to hunger. The barren has borne seven, but she has borne many children and is forlorn. The Lord kills and brings to life. He brings down to Sheol and raises up. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He brings low and he exalts. He raises up the poor from the dust. He lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with princes and inherit a seat of honor. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and on them he has set the world. He will guard the feet of his faithful ones, but the wicked shall be cut off in the darkness. For not by might shall a man prevail. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces. Against them he will thunder in heaven. The Lord will judge the ends of the earth. He will give strength to his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. So Hannah gets this. Um, she gets it as about the Lord. He, he was the one who gave her this child. She was not the one who did it in her own strength. She was not able to have children. She was really brought down low when um, her husband's other wife had kids. And uh, she kind of taunted Hannah when she had a kid and Hannah couldn't. And I think that's just uh, cruelty. But God just brought her up. He raised her up and he gave her the kid because he knew already that she was going to obey him. Uh, he gave her that choice to obey or not to obey. But she obeyed him. She dedicated her child to him. And now you can see just how Hannah was rich re richly rewarded um, with his child. And I just wanted to say that when you are given a blessing from the Lord, don't forget Jesus afterwards. Don't forget to thank him. Don't forget to praise him. Um, because a lot of people do. Um, and that's not, I think God really wants you to have that choice, whether you praise him or not. How you react to his blessings uh, is a direct reflection on you. So I just wanted to encourage that today through the story of Hannah.